Hello everyone and welcome to the SCG Game Night here at Grey Ogre Games. My name is Mika, I'm one of your hosts. Uh, well, I'm your host for tonight. I am your only host. Uh, glad that you guys could join us. We are watching the... Oh, okay. So maybe we're not watching the... Alright, so we are. Alright, we're watching the uh, game between Ryan Poon and Ryan Lowe here. Uh, the Ryan Mirror match. Of course, they're not playing the exact same decks. And uh, yeah, this is our weekly standard tournament. Three rounds of real people playing real cards of Magic. So yeah, I'm glad that you're here with us. Let's see. I need to go back to the live. Ah, there we go. There we go. Wow, a lot of people in the store tonight. There are. Ooh, 12 tables, so there's 20, 20 something odd players, which is great because uh, you know everybody needs to prepare for um, for GP KL. I believe that's why everybody is preparing for. So uh, prepare away, players. Let's go see what Ryan has, what either Ryan has up for uh, up for the game. Ryan Low, I believe, should be running a Grixis. Uh, Rixis Emerge deck and uh, Ryan Poon here is running the T-Merge deck a uh, well very different take on these things Ryan starts out with a Master of Inquiries double Master of Inquiries which means that he'll be able to mill himself silly but he doesn't have land so this might be a little difficult for him um, nice start though but it's going to be really tough without lands so yeah uh, Jin Hao there giving me the dirty look as he always does see the um, okay so Ryan Gets his second land, it is a smoldering marsh, doesn't have the lands in hand obviously, he's just going to pass the turn, so he's going to mill himself a lot, which is great for his deck. What he wants to do is make sure that there is either a haunted dead or scrap heap scrounger in the graveyard, along with undead alchemist, sorry, with uh, prized amalgams, and uh, all he has to do is just bring back one of those creatures and the prized amalgams come back, so he's got a lot of He's got a lot of value in that, but missing his second land drop means that he's kind of, uh, kind of a bit slow. The each of the master of inquiries represents three more cards in the graveyard, and uh, with a total of twelve. After which, of course, it can attack or it can just die so that the scrap heap scrounger can eat it up and uh, return back to the grave. Uh, you know, return the scrap heap scrounger back to uh, play. Alright, so two haunted dates there uh, with a master of inquiries. Uh, that is what he's kind of looking for. He's going to activate the next one. All right, a price amalgam. That's a wall here. What? No, if you, if you lower it, it's too cold. If you raise it, it's too it's too warm. This is ah, uh, it's hard to problems. Yeah, this first world problems. What's the matchup today? Uh, so it is the T-Merge deck versus the uh, Grixis Emerge deck. I like, I like the Emerge deck. Hey, sit down now. Come on. Yeah, uh, when did I get these two bottles of water? Oh well, they're mine now. Uh, so T-Merge versus Grimmerge? Yeah, Grimmerge. Grimmerge. Grimmer's. 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 Okay, so um, Haunted Dead enters the battlefield. Gonna get a uh, Spirit token. And that, that will trigger the price amalgams, which he has three of. So this is a really good uh, you know, follow-up by Ryan, even though he only has two lands in I don't. I, I, I think that right. Okay, I'm going to call him Poon. Yeah, Poon. Or Rian. Yeah, Rian, Rian. Okay. So Rian... Rian's Poon. not really out of, I mean, not out of the game yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think he is. Turn. By any means, he's not out of the game. He can still get like... It's a wretched grief would be pretty good right now. Mm-hmm. Well, Ratchet Grave, will you be able to cast it? Yeah, yeah six mana. Six, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, six, uh. Ratchet Grave will wipe the entire board, but Ryan has... Uh, What's that? Alright, so it's a filigree, is <gasps> familiar, and that's going to gain him some life. Uh, but I don't, you know... Yeah, I don't think that's enough. Yeah, exactly. Well, he could use the... He's um, not out of the game. All he needs is a, like some emerge guy. Yeah, just big, big emerge guy. Uh, 
He has a he has a Amraku in hand, which is kind of slow right now. Uh, he can give up his zero three, the primal druid, just to get an extra land. Take seven. Uh, down to fifteen. Who viewers we have? Yeah, no, not a lot. Let's yeah, see. We never. Yeah, we never get any viewers on Tuesday. Guess Ang. Guess. Ang. Guess. Guess. Can you help us advertise? Yeah, on please. Your Facebook. Yes, yeah. Because it's Tuesday, we get more on Wednesdays. Yeah. Like way more, like 10, ten times more. And we never, had, we never had on Thursdays, but then people go to the YouTube to go look at the, to watch the vintage uh, uh. playtest. You know, <laughs> which is so strange, like, it, well, I guess if you're not free, right, then you can just go down to YouTube, youtube.com slash over games, and uh, you can watch all the replays of uh, our, you know, of all our tournaments. That includes the tournaments on the weekends as well. Okay, so yeah, yeah. This looks like a choreograph for an elder deep fiend. Possibly, it's waiting for the smuggler's copter to, uh, you know, to be piloted. And he should wait for the end step. So the thing about it is that he can bring it back on the end step. And uh, Ryan will be forced to just use it next turn. Uh, yeah, and right now he doesn't have the mana to do it, so it doesn't really matter. Wow, okay. Alright, so he's going to just pass the turn. Uh, just wait for the entire crew to hit the battlefield. Upkeep. He's going to sacrifice the filigrees familiar. He's going to wipe out Ryan's board. But the thing about Ryan's deck is that there is inevitability. He will get back all his creatures, uh, all his prize amalgams, just with the act of, you know, just sacrificing, or not sacrificing, discarding two cards. And right now he's got enough mana, he could just do it anyway. So... Interesting matchup, I think, uh, you know, two very different takes for the Emerge decks. Alright. So, Cozy X Return, trying to wipe out the entire board. It's going to blow up the entire board. So, Ryan here can just, you know, end step, bring back, you know, at, at the end of the upkeep, bring back the, uh, what's that, the Haunted Dead. Okay, so he's going to try to tap down the lands. And what happens now? What happens next will amaze you. I need to close the door properly. Oh no, it's getting cold in this room again. Jeez, Mark, gotta. Oh. Cold, cold. Where did the remote go? Mark, you take the remote. Give me back the remotes. Okay, so Scrap hits Crowner. Gonna hit the battlefield. No? Okay, so no, the discarding discarding cards, sorry. Okay, so Haunted Day comes back, which means that it triggers the Price Amalgams. Okay, do now lay the land, and all you can do is just pass the turn. Price Amalgams return to the battlefield. You have draws. So you can go Nisa Vital Force, but that's not going to do much, I feel. Does that even detract from Ryan's game plan? Because Ryan can just cast probably uh, Elder Deep Fiend, uh, trigger, yeah, trigger Kozilek's Return, and that will actually, you know, wipe Ryan of a bit of lands, of one land, sorry, not a bit of lands. Uh, but I also wipe his board, which is not a good idea. So, Rian. 
Marianne got a dig here. Ria wants to try to cast the Emrakul. Uh, well, does he have Emrakul in hand? If he does, then that would be good. But, uh, you know, we don't know whether it's all too late. He's already got an artifact and artifact creature. Artifact creature and a land in the graveyard. No instance yet. But of course, that can change. And no enchantments yet. I'm going to buy an Archivist. Okay. Hey, close the door properly. Ouch. Jeez, why people talk to me now that they don't close the door properly? Ah, uh, me complaining. Whatever. Okay, so... Guess the extra land, and he still has... Okay. The ability to fire off a Kozilex return which won't do much, it will deal, it will kill a lot of things. Ryan not, you know, just left with a few, yeah, just left with two cards in hand which means that he can only bring back the Price Amalgam one more time, the Price Amalgam a few more times. Alright, so Spargo's Copter going to swing in with 10 points of damage on the ground. So the likely block is with the Smuggler's Copter and then blocks the Price Amalgam. And I think you fire off the Kozilek's Return before. No, after damage. So you take 7. Kozilek's Return kills all the things. So yeah. Block the copter. Well, the copter's done its job already. Do you want to? So the question is, do you want to kill it? Uh, do you want to take one less point of damage? So, yeah. Copter's going to get in for three. So it brings uh, Rian down to nine. And step. So he has to wait until he, you know he has to wait until you go to end step. I think. Taking away the copter would have been better. You know, Ryan Ryan being able to just like siphon through his deck, to filter through his deck, that's not something that you want to give the ability for a dredge, you know, a reanimation deck, right? So second smuggler's copter here. And Ryan goes off with a okay. Fires that off. So Ryan doesn't have an extra card in hand. So he can't bring it back. He can bring it back next turn. So one more prize amalgam goes into the graveyard. So he's left with two copters. Okay, so I understand now that, uh, you know, the copter plan. That was a good idea. Filigree Familiar. Gain some life. I think maybe Nissa. Or does he want to Emrakul? No, he's, he doesn't have enough mana to Emrakul. So maybe... Cast the Nissa, untap a land, he's only got two mana left behind. No, I don't think he can attack. So maybe you cast the Nissa, get some get some aggro from the copters first. Of course Ryan can bring back everything the next turn. So huh? this looks like a very difficult decision here. Right, regardless of which, Ryan's gonna get back stuff. So he's going next turn he's just gonna draw another card. Probably gonna get back the whole the whole gang of priced amalgams. Uh, so he's gonna exile one of his creatures to get back the scrapyard scrounger, which means that he'll take back um, the priced amalgams, the other two priced amalgams. So this is looking a little precarious. Scrappy House Scrounger probably going to activate the Copter and then another Price Amalgam for another Copter and then you swing it for 12 
for some blocks. There's a possibility that Rian doesn't block, but if he doesn't block, he's going to he's going to take nine, and that's going to be really really crucial because next turn, uh, next turn anyway, he needs a, he needs an answer. Otherwise, he's going to take you know, a hell of damage. So they go on swinging. Draw a card and discard. Is that another creature? Alright, so it's another Scrap Heap Scrounger, which means that he can actually bring back the Scrap Heap Scrounger and block. Okay, so it takes six. Down four, draws a card. <laughs> well, this Grixis Emerge deck is oops, something to beat, man. This is a very powerful deck. I did manage to play a few games with Matthew earlier on. It is a very powerful deck. Uh, let me know in the comments, do you agree or do you disagree? It's a good deck. It's a good deck. So Ryan's sitting comfortably still at 20 life, uh, you know, no threat from Rian. Kozilek's return and step. Okay, so he's going to take down uh, one, another one Price Amalgam. So Price Amalgam, surprisingly good. Insanely good. And a prize and a, you know. Yeah, but the Scrappy Scrounger can come back. Uh, you know, exiling one of the master of inquiries. So upkeep here. Gonna sacrifice one of these guys, the prize amalgam. I'm gonna try to tap down Rian's lands. And he's going to sacrifice the Sanctum of Ugin to probably start chaining the Elder Deep Fiends. Wow, Elder Deep Fiend. Doing good, man. Doing the work. Very powerful. Not sure what Rian can draw here. That will help him. Seeing another Kozak's return in hand, not not particularly useful. You need to find a way to like just clear the graveyard, but I don't think that's you know I don't think that's possible in the current standard with uh, with all the cards. I'm like no, I don't think so. All right, and Rian scoops it up. Ryan Low takes the game. Congrats! Uh, a very powerful deck. The Grixis Emerge deck is a very very powerful deck. If you're just joining us, you are watching the SCG Game Night here at Grey Ogre Games. My name's Mick. I'm one of your hosts. I, well, I was joined by Mark for a while, but Mark will be. Mark is out there. We have a lot of new players here today and a lot of returning old players who are kind of new. Uh, and yeah, we're trying to guide them, you know, make sure that they are making the right plays or, you know, just playing the game right and having fun. I think that's very important. Next week is the Pro Tour. This weekend is the Pro Tour. Next next week is the GPKL. Very excited to watch the Pro Tour. See all the decks that are coming out. And we can kind of guess what we will be playing for the GPKL. I myself will be playing the Aetherworks Marvel deck. I'm hoping that that makes it. I think there should be an iteration of that deck that will, that will do really well. But, uh, you know, need to find out you know, what's that what deck that would be. Right now, I'm running the green, blue, uh, green, blue, teamer, uh, you know, teamer, either works Marvel deck, but I just saw David, and David's one of my, you know, uh, my favorite deck builder around, because, man, his brain works in a totally different way. He's playing the blue, red, either Marvel deck, and uh, it's amazing, it looks, looks very cool. Looks amazing. Anyway, like I said, if you are joining us, you are watching the SCG Game Night here at Grey Ogre Games. Every week, the 
three rounds of real people playing real cards of magic in this standard tournament. And tomorrow night, we have our modern, modern, modern tournament. And as the name suggests, it's our modern tournament. Three, also three rounds of real people playing real cards of magic. And if you missed that, it's okay. You can go on to youtube.com slash Games and go find, you know, all the replays from all these tournaments. Usually it gets uploaded right after the tournament. Last week, I have to apologize for the delay in the uploading of the recording. I think it just slipped my mind. I went back and didn't, record, uh, didn't upload it. So I ask for your forgiveness. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Can't stop loving you. Know. Uh, do love you guys though. But yeah. I'm sure Cass has a reply to that. Right, Cass? No. Anyway. Uh, is it me or am I not reading anything in the chat room? Come on, guys. Please do put, up, put something up in the chat. Uh, and we... Last but not least, right, I forgot to mention, do listen to the Power9 podcast, our partners who put up the stream every week. Uh, they are the ones who keep the stream running. And this week, we just recorded an episode about shuffling, which will be out tomorrow. Uh, every day, I'm shuffling. Man, did we make so many references to LMFAO. So, yeah. Uh, players are shuffling back up. Not, not sure what Ryan... Rian has against Ryan's deck. Rian playing the T Merge deck. Ryan playing the Grixis Emerge deck. It seems to be really good. The reanimation aspect of that deck is so strong. Scrap Heap Scroungers, the Haunted Dids. Very, very strong. Um, and he's using Master of Inquiries, which is very interesting to see that, uh, you know, you. Use, use one mana to mill three cards in the graveyard. Every Master of Inquiries is at least, at least six cards in the graveyard. I'm guessing Ryan, Rian is going to go first. Rian Poon. Uh, we do call him Ryan, so yeah. Axis Thrawn, having lunch, no spare hands to chat. It's okay, man. It's okay. I was just saying, I was just saying, the chat is kind of empty. I am left here alone to my own devices. Uh, of course, I'm not doing anything illegal or unsavory, like evading my taxes. Yeah, I am so regretting missing the presidential debates yesterday. Damn, damn, damn. Alright, so Rian gonna go down to six. And Ryan keeping his hand looks like a decent hand to go on. Uh, yeah. I like that uh, you can play the deck like a, um, you know, just straight up reanimation deck, uh, straight up dredge deck, in fact. You know, you just put cards in your graveyard the fastest way you can, and then just bring back the prize amalgams. I say just, like, it's very easy, but in fact, it is. You have haunted dates, you have scrap heap scroungers just to go off. And get back your price amalgams. You know, previously in Shadows over in this chart, there was the tactic of using the uh, Stitchwing Scab to bring back the price amalgams. On turn two, you can get nine power on the board, and that's amazing. But this deck does it just as well. So, okay, Master of Inquiries on turn one, Aether Hub and Master of Inquiries not being able to capitalize on the, um, you know, on the blue mana. And here, Rian not being able to capitalize on that either. He, he wants some more lands. So not cracking his evolving wilds to draw more lands. Second Aether Hub and just gonna pass the turn. Or start casting stuff, maybe cast another Master of Inquiries. Alright, so Neonate instead. And I'm uh, gonna go down to one energy, cast another Master of Inquiries, going up to three. Uh, using a lot of the energy from the Aether Hubs. You want to use 
you well you kind of want to keep as much energy as you can so that you can mill yourself silly but uh, I think it's okay right like I don't see a reason for him to be keeping the uh, the energy they are all going to die anyway but Ryan needs to get some colored mana soon otherwise he might not be able to produce any color filigree familiar for Rian with a mill oh man another master of inquiries and two lands two colored lands in fact so does he want to go for the next one no just untaps it's okay all oh, right he can't it's got summoning sickness my bad so uh i see the red blue land is that a wandering fumeral or the uh, botanical sorry the um what's the blue red one yeah the the bluff thing anyway okay so mill again let's see what goes in the graveyard oh man all the lands all the lands smugglers copter as well going in the graveyard right must be really really upset that all his lands are entering uh the graveyard Spy and Bluff Canal, right, that's the one. So, maybe you want to lay the Spy and Bluff Canal so that you can start, you know, just casting stuff. Maybe? Who knows? Doesn't really matter. He attacks him with a Neonate. Neonate can, uh, you know, just sacrifice itself, discard a card, and uh, draw, draw Ryan a card, and he can actually activate to, you know, if he's got a ha Haunted Dead, he can just put it in, and then drop two Price of Malgums and get back uh, the Price of Malgums on the end step when the Haunted Dead uh, re-enters the battlefield from the graveyard. But it doesn't seem like he has it. Hi, M. Rakul. <laughs> What's up, man? You're keeping me... You guys are keeping me company on this Tuesday night. Or for those of you who are in America, Tuesday afternoon. And those of you who are in Europe, Tuesday... Uh, sorry, Tuesday afternoon for America, uh, for Europeans and Tuesday morning for Americans. My bad. Probably like 5 o'clock on the West Coast. Somewhere there. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. I mean... I'm surprised that uh, we're, you know, we're hitting like 20 viewers on a Tuesday night. Usually we don't. Honest to God, we don't usually hit that kind of numbers on a Tuesday night. But it seems like we're making some progress. That's very nice. Ryan looking for black sauce, which likely means that he might have the haunted dead in his hand. So maybe mill away some more cards. And he milled away a lot of lands. That's one, two, three, four, five, four lands in the six cards, which is unfortunate. He needs some lands. He needs to actually play this game with some lands. Alright, he's going to mill again. And a price Malcolm, so that's good. That's what he needs. Uh, we don't see any sideboard cards against Rian yet, but I suspect there might be a, um, let's call it, oh, okay, alright, so what is Ryan trying to do, he's going to discard, so he's probably going to discard the Haunted Dead, yep, he's going to draw a card, he's going to, He can bring back the Scrap Heap Scrounger. I believe there's a Scrap Heap Scrounger in his graveyard. No, it doesn't have it. Okay, so he's going to bring back the Haunted Dead at the end step. Get the 1-1 one, one Flyer and get back his prized Amalgam. So he's got two prized Amalgam. So he's starting the loop right now. He has, uh, you know, X number of creatures in the graveyard, which means that if any Scrapyard Scroungers go into the graveyard, he can keep looping the Price Amalgams. So there must be a way for you to exile the Price Amalgams, you know, so that they don't ever come back. For example, Incendiary Flow is a good piece of removal in this case. So, let's see. How has today's games been going? Well, this is only the first round, and 
and uh, we're 20 minutes from time being called. Uh, looks like a lot of people, there are a lot of people for standard. I don't, I foresee there's not going to be a lot of people for modern. We're going to have a lot of viewers, but not a lot of people are going to be playing. Uh, because GPKL is coming up next week, uh, sorry, next next week in... We kind of want to test our dicks, I mean our decks, our dicks. So, yeah. Might be good, might be good. So, Ryan, going to swing in with the two, three, threes. Might get shot out with a cozy legs return. We'll block the two, three, threes. Yeah. And uh, draw himself two cards. He's going to take three points of damage from the Haunted Dead with the 1 1 Flyer. Uh, of course, you know, Ryan is expecting this. Oh, Radiant Flames. Okay, good card. Good card. He could just Radiant Flames full. Okay, so if he Radiant Flames. Okay, no, no, he can't Radiant Flames right now. He's a sorcery spell. But of course, he can Kozilek's return. He's going to wipe. Ryan, uh, Ryan's entire board, unless of course Ryan wants to do something about that. For example, casting an Elder Deep Fiend uh, right about now. He has the two blue mana, he can just cast it. So Ryan here deciding is it okay to let that go because if he does, Ryan will be, you know, just toss back a, like one turn. Somewhere there, he's still got two cards in hand, which means he can uh, he possibly bring it back next turn with no, you know, no, no big deal to bring it back. How about that? All right, so he's gonna go for it. Elder D Fiend sacrifices one of his Price Amalgam. Uh, it's fine. The entire board gets wiped out. He gets the Elder D Fiend, and it's gonna pass the turn. Uh, Wretched Griff is the draw for Ryan. I don't think he needs the Wretched Griff. Uh, it would be nice if he has a land so he can play the Ishkana, but even Ishkana is not going to cut it right now. So maybe just uh, run out the vessel and crack the vessel, see what you get. No, he doesn't have two, he doesn't have enough green mana, so all he can do is just cast the vessel. So that's unfortunate. He has. Maybe he has a Kozilex return in hand, but I don't think that is true. So Ryan might want to go for the pressure uh, Rian plan. Bring back the Haunted Dead cast. Or oh, maybe not Haunted Dead, is there... There's no Scrap Heap Scrounger, so it's not going to be easy to bring back the prized amalgams. Go pass the turn. Draw. Alright, so land here for Ryan. Does he crack the... Does he crack it? Alright, okay, so he cracks it. Hopefully, looks for land. Okay, so there is a land. Maybe take the Sanctum and lay the Spire Bluff Canal that is in your hand. A little hard to see the life total. I will reduce. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try to reduce the lighting uh, the next go around that we have. But yeah, it's a little hard to see with the glare. I wonder why. Hmm. Okay. Uh it does just lay the sector, it just passes the third. Alright, Ryan not one thing to give up is two lands. Oh uh, sorry, it's two creatures in here which are actually out of the defense. Ryan Rian here going down to nine. Haunted Dead, we're going to discard another Haunted Dead, bring back a Haunted Dead, which will eventually bring back the two Price Amalgams. And he could use the Haunted Dead to cast Elder Deep Fiend again. Man, such synergy. So on Rian's upkeep. 
on Rian's upkeep is going to cast the Elder Deep Fiend, lock down Rian's lands, leaving him probably with this Sanctum. Alright, so upkeep, sacrifice Elder, uh, the Haunted Dead, tap down all your colored lands. And that's it, that's the handshake. Congrats, good job there by Ryan Lowe, defeating Rian Poon. Alright, if you just joined us, you are watching the SCG Game Night here at Grey Ogre Games. It's Tuesday night, three rounds of real people playing real cards of Magic. It's a standard tournament. We are here weekly. Um, my name is Mick. I'm your host for tonight, apparently. And uh, yeah, we just witnessed the game between Rian and Ryan. The Grixis Emerge deck uh, emerging victorious uh, uh, you know, against the Team Merge deck. So yeah, congrats to Ryan Lowe, the Ryan Mirror. We're going to go for a short break. I'll put up a replay. I finally got some videos that I can put up to show you guys in the meantime. But before we go, I just want to remind you that you can catch us every Tuesday night, every Thursday night for uh, Modern. So uh, Tuesday night, sorry, for Standard. Wednesday night for Modern, 8 p.m. Singapore time. And uh, sometimes on the weekends, we also have tournaments, and we, but we don't stream all of them. We only stream some of them. So you got to make sure you follow our Facebook page and our Twitch channel to keep yourself updated because not all the time. We don't stream all the time, man. We would like to, but we have to pay somebody. <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, if you miss those, it's okay. You can just go down to youtube.com slash games, catch all the replays. All the videos get uploaded right after the tournament, so you don't have to sweat it. They will be there. Don't worry. Last but not least, do listen to our, our uh, partners, the Power9 Podcast. Every week, myself and Alfian and Cass and sometimes Edwin, we get together and we talk shop about Magic the Gathering. This week, the episode is on the shuffling debacle. Why can't I power shuffle? And we explain it all. Alright, we are going for a short break, so don't go away. We'll be right back for round two. See you guys.